Okay, what I've got here, fifth wheel hitch that does not want to come off the uh, kingpin. It's just locked up on that kingpin. I've had this trouble once before, and it, actually it was last year. And, uh, well, I've already taken the bottom plate off right there. Uh, anyhow, uh, what I did is I just took it off the uh, saddle. Uh, you know, the saddle that holds down onto the uh, two uh, deals there, the pins. And then uh, we got the truck out of underneath it, and then what we're trying to do is uh, uh, make sure that we can get it to disconnect again, and I'm going to service it up and grease it up real good, clean it and, and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now is we're, we're tearing it down. Uh, what it does, how this works is, uh, when the, uh, handle is lifted from the detent, you got a detent right there, and then it, when you pull it out, it grabs onto these little teeth on the uh, on this here that goes around this kingpin and it pulls this whole latch around that kingpin and disconnects from that kingpin then you would be able to pull the truck out of under uh, out of underneath this fifth wheel hitch uh, however it just does not want to move when we pull out the uh, the release so we're just sitting here uh, trying to figure it out um, get it back to working again but yeah give me a give me a minute and uh, we'll see what we can come up with so what I think is our issue is I think that the uh, uh, that latch has gone round too far causing it to where it can't grab onto the teeth right there and I think that's the reason why so I need to figure out why it's doing that and see if we can stop it from doing that um, I was just thinking about it it wasn't actually last year because last year the parents didn't go camping up on the uh, up there well maybe they did i i don't remember um but i know they didn't do camp hosting like they've done before well this year they're going to but uh anyhow um that's beside the fact uh this uh i just gotta figure out why it's doing this and uh take care of it and uh get it to where it's working again and not uh, doing this anymore and you know we don't want to have it do it again at all so uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm gonna take this a little bit more apart and uh, we'll uh, I'll bring it back uh, when I'm a little bit further and I kind of got a plan on what I'm gonna do but, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, yep, we'll be right back. Okay, I've got it meshed with the uh, gear there. Now, I'm going to put that plate back on. And, uh, well, if we can focus. There we go. Um... If we can uh, get that plate back on there and get her uh, back on here, I can pull that uh, latch around that kingpin to be able to take that uh, the the uh, hitch part off. I can't think of the name of it right now. 
I just, <laughs> right now I'm not thinking very much on that. I, I just want to get it done. Um, anyhow, yeah, that's what we're, where we're sitting at right now. Let me go ahead and throw in those, uh, those uh, bolts and, or that plate and those bolts on it. And uh, get her done up and I'll bring you back when I get there. Okay, we're gonna sit this down right here and hopefully you can see what I'm working on. Uh, while I'm doing that, I got you sitting on a chair. Uh, anyhow, let me uh, go ahead and get my glove back on and uh, get our impact gun. should be able to pull that off the kingpin should be able to that's the key word should uh, at least we hope now that I've got it messed with the uh, gear uh, there I gotta get up off the ground now I'm trying to get all this uh, dirt off my hands grease makes it all stick to the hands all right let's see what happens let's see did she go she sure did all right cool now I'm not gonna do that uh, pull that off of there just yet because that's one heavy son of a bitch I'm going to have to move this chair out of the way. And uh, therefore, i got to get the camera turned off to where it's not uh, in the way of that. I don't want my phone getting ruined. You know, getting broken because of a, this uh, plate, hitch plate, falling on it. Even though it's got an otter box on it, I don't think that otter box would take it take that much damage uh yeah i think it would say uh nope not doing it it's like taking a hammer to the damn thing <laughs> accepting it's a sledgehammer instead of a regular hammer <laughs> but anyhow uh take my glove back off so that i can do the uh pick the phone back up but, uh, yeah, here's from this angle. Oh, let's turn the camera. That uh, it slid all the way around. You, you watched it do it. I mean, I couldn't see it. I was up there pulling on the uh, handle there. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Let me... Uh, Pull this chair out of the way, and we'll get this uh, off of there. Um, yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt for me, because I know how heavy that some bitch is. Just that chunk of uh, steel there weighs quite a bit. Um, and I think I'm going to go and grab some other gloves, some of the cloth ones, uh, to do this uh, job but uh, anyhow uh, I'll bring you back when I'm when I get this off of here and we can throw this on the on the bench and uh, see if we can get this thing serviced up and cleaned up and get it ready to go for the uh, summer I'll be back Okay, uh, we're spraying it down, trying to clean it up, all you know, the grease off of it, so that we can put her back together all cleaned up. 
by the way, that's my dad right there. But, yeah, bring you back when we get her all cleaned up. A bit sloppy, isn't it? Yeah, well. Anyway, that don't look good to me. Well, a lot has happened since uh, the last time uh, we showed uh, what was going on uh, with the uh, uh, hitch there. I had to put on some weld on that and I'm not the best at welding, stick welding, but for what she is, it's good enough for me. Um, and then I took my flapper wheel and uh, shined her back up, measured it, it measures out at three and three quarters. And, uh, that hole, yeah, that hole is three and three quarters. This part here, I actually just measured it, and it is exactly three and three quarters. So, coming back over here, let's see, let's, uh, show that. Um, uh, sorry, I'm, three and three quarters, perfect, um, yeah, I didn't do too bad, I don't think, on that, uh, I was pretty goddamn surprised, I'll tell you that much, but anyhow, uh, now we're going to see if, uh, when I put it back together, if it wants to operate like it should. Now, we think what happened was inside here, let me get you some, well, maybe I can't do that while it's, while I'm, uh, videoing here. Let's see if we can do her. Nope. This phone ain't going to let me do it. Anyhow, um, but down in there, we think what happened is the guy that sold my dad this uh, hitch, the uh, fifth wheel hitch, um, the guy sold it to him as a brand new hitch. I told my dad as soon as I saw it, that ain't new. And now he's just finally realizing that it wasn't. Um, because there's a lot of wear. And he's kind of pissed off about that. <laughs> but, uh, I don't blame him. I would be too. However, we, we uh, I was going to, uh, email the, uh, manufacturer and see what we could do to fix this. But, my dad started trying to do some gas welding on it. And because he has a pacemaker, he could not uh, use the arc welder. And uh, so I pull out the arc welder. It may be old, but she still does it. <laughs> I mean, God, that old thing. She may not be able to handle those electrodes right there, but those are eighth inch electrodes. She might be able to handle a little bit of these beady beady ones, but you know, does okay for that. These ones are one sixteenth. The others that I use are let's see what size are we? Five sixty fourth, right there. Oh, let's see if we can get her to focus a little bit. Yep, 564th. Um, 
but they're four nays. I like them four nays better than them Hobarts. And it looks like we're there. Hobarts, I they don't do as good. They kind of stick a lot compared to these four nays. I really like them four nays for doing some welding. But anyhow, that's where we're at. Um now we just got to put her back together and see what happens, see if it uh still doing what it what it was doing. Hopefully not. Hopefully it uh works like it's, like it's supposed to and I can just go and lay back, <laughs> lay down and rest for the rest of the night because man, my back is really pissed off at me for doing this. Standing on this cement floor kills me. Uh kills my uh my back. But anyhow, uh enough complaining. Um that's not what you're here to hear. Um but if you if you missed that uh, uh when I explained why it why I uh have trouble with my back. Um I have herniated discs. I ha also have uh, advanced degenerative disc disease. And uh, the doctor that I, uh, the specialist that I saw, he, uh, he looked at my MRI and then looked at me, looked back at the MRI and said, if I didn't know better, I would have told you that you, that guy on that computer screen is a 75-year-old man not a 32 year old man i was 32 at that time i'm 36 now but uh anyhow that's that story that that explains why i'm complaining but uh anyhow uh oh i'm not sponsored by anything on this <laughs> by anything that i'm using here so uh yeah wish i was but Especially by them. Pepsi. Man, I love Pepsi. But anyhow, um, my favorite drink. Um, I can't drink that coffee stuff. My stomach can't handle that. But it can handle Pepsi for some reason. Anyhow, uh, we're just jumbling on and on and on and, you know, not getting work done. Let's, uh, Shut our mouth and get some done. Get something done here. I'll bring you back.